Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for Rainbow Press and Comics, and it's time to share the graphic novels that I have recently read through, and uh, these graphic novels that I have recently read through, um, tick over in from 2021 to what was finished in 2022, or early parts of 2022 so first things first let's see what's in the list we've got frank miller's dark knight returns i won't give a reading on that just yet i just want to show what i have here of what i read we've got udon's street fighter and a couple of trades in relation to that we have Books of Magic through Vertigo, definitely worth the read. Of course, one of my favourites, Adventures of the Super Sons, with Peter J. Smarcy. We've got Ragman, which I really enjoyed, and in fact I also reviewed Ragman on the Rainbow Crescent Comics website. Uh, then we've got Snyder's Justice League, and that continues over into the next row, until we move on to Greg Witter's Oliver, then we've got Safe Sex, Volume 1, of course Flash Forward, which I've already reviewed on the channel, and I will put a card up, so you can see it, in case you missed it, then we move into Descender, by Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nugent, and I must admit, this story was really good, Dead Man by Neil Adams, Kick-Ass by Mark Millar, I wouldn't mind getting more of that, just getting the missing volumes that I need. Silencer, definitely worth the read and definitely worth the recommendation. Australia Burns, now this had to do with covering some of the bushfires that we had in Australia. Uh, it had quite a number of stories. Moving into the last, uh, that is Teen Titans, done by Benjamin Percy, to those who don't recognise that part of the cover. Uh, we've got Fence by C.S. Pascat, very enjoyable. Dead End Kids, Olympia, Birthright by Williamson. Uh, definitely enjoyed reading the first volume, I'm going to have to wait until I get a hold of the second. Excellence. Mm. I can't wait to give the rating for this. Batman and the Signal. Suicide Squad, Katana, uh, to which we've got Mike W. Barr actually writing the story because he's also the creator of the character. And last but not least, some Valiant. Generation Zero. And I do admit, I really enjoyed the story. All right. Now it's the next fun part, the rating for each series. So I think I'll go in reverse this time, where before I started off with The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller. So starting, uh, starting off with Generation Zero, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 as I quite enjoyed the series, and that goes for both volumes, and that includes story and art, and the ratings will also cover both story and art. Uh, the Suicide Squad Katana, because the original creator of Katana was working on it, I give it a 8 out of 10. Batman and the Signal, about a 7 out of 10. It was nice that it had some the additional content in there, which um, wasn't actually seen in the very first printing of um, Batman and the Signal. 
uh, excellent, uh, probably a 6.5 out of 10 for Birthright, I will give it a 7 out of 10, Olympia, I really enjoyed reviewing this on the, on the channel, I enjoyed rereading it again as a trade, 8 out of 10, Dead End Kids, I will give oh, a 7 out of 10, Fence Volume 4, 7.5 out of 10, Benjamin Percy's Teen Titans, to which we did have a better written Damien, <laughs> um, 8 out of 10, moving into the Australia Burns, this one had some extra stories along with some extra different art. So for it, I'll just give it a seven. Silencer for all three, I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Kick-Ass by Mark Millar. I've seen the movie of this. I like the trade better. <laughs> and for this, um, I want to give Kick-Ass an 8 out of 10. Dead Man by Neil Adams. Just a 7 out of 10. He really needs to clean up his art because it's really gone down the trash hole. Especially in relation to um, when he did the story of Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul. His art has really collapsed. I wouldn't even pay $1,000 for what he is offering <laughs> at his uh, uh, turn ups. Uh, I think he deserves at least $10. Uh, Descender, rating for all, I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed the story. Moving into the next, as you already know, I've reviewed Flash Forward, so that means. It's got to be Save 6. Now, this was an interesting story, as I did pick up a couple of the single issues for my LCS. And it was, well, I think it was a little bit better getting the trade, because the trade covered a little bit extra um, in what I missed comic-wise. But it also gave a little bit more in relation to the story, to which I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. I do believe I've got the second volume somewhere, or at least getting a hold of the second volume. Oliver, the first couple of stories in this were alright, but I do feel the story lacked a bit towards the end. So, 7 out of 10. Now, in regards to Scott Snyder's Justice League, uh, for the first two volumes, a 7 out of 10. The third volume, a 7.5, an 8 for the 6th volume, or the 6th dimension one. I really enjoyed the story, what happened there. This is where things sort of fell apart. So a 7 out of 10, moving into Ragman. I love rereading this, and it's worth an 8 out of 10. Adventures of the Super Sons, always a 10 out of 10, because P. J. Tomas is on it. Moving into Books of Magic, to which we learn about Timothy Hunter, and his connection to the magic in the world of Vertigo, and the Sandman universe. It was really interesting, but I think I enjoy a lot of the newer content that they've actually done around his character. Plus some of the art in regards to Tim Timothy's character, <sighs> he looks like he's drawn like a fucking 20 year old. He, he doesn't look uh, 14, 15 as he said in the actual story, but there were some good stories amongst them both. So I'll give it a 7.5. Moving into the Street Fighter stories, my goodness, 
every one of these that I have read deserve an 8 out of 10. And moving on to last but not least, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, it was very interesting drawing wise. Yes, it's more of an Elseworlds story than an actual canon story. Overall, yes, though he did give like some good things somewhat art wise, the story really had some falls in it that I really didn't enjoy that much. I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. So until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.